Good morning. Good morning, guys. I just finished boot camp. I did not have time to film before boot camp because actually a really funny story. So I get up this morning, get dressed. I go outside to the garage and I see this. I'm going to pop up a picture here for you. And I about lost my mind. I was looking at it thinking, I don't know, this looks really weird because what tarantula do you know that's kind of an off-white color? You could see the bones in the torso and I'm like, this is really weird, but my heart was just racing. And I didn't know, is there white tarantulas, cream tarantulas in Arizona? I mean, tarantulas are a thing here. So I run in the house and I'm like, Troy, Troy, there's a huge tarantula by my car when I'm going to boot camp. And out of a dead sleep, he wakes up and starts laughing and says, oh, it's fake, I put it there really not funny. Not funny at 4.30 in the morning when I'm trying to get out the door to boot camp. So that kind of made it so I didn't have time to film before I went to boot camp. Oh man, I tell you, he thinks he's the funniest thing ever. Actually, when I get home and pull in the garage, I will show you exactly where it was this morning when I opened up my door and literally about had a heart attack. And I think tarantulas are really cool, but I don't want one in my garage by my car where I need to get in at 4.30 in the morning. So that kind of derailed me a little bit, but I just finished boot camp. I'll pop up here on the screen my Apple Watch workout. It was insane. You can see my hair is sweaty and wet. I have a busy day today, so I'm going to go home, finish up my protein coffee. I actually started it this morning, drank about half before boot camp as usual, finish up the other half of my protein coffee, get ready. I'm already getting a little bit hungry, so we definitely are going to have some breakfast. I have so many fun recipes today to share with you guys. I'm so excited. So let me open up the gate to my community, show you the tarantula, and get ready for the day. So yeah, this is what I see this morning. I mean, come on, it's a little too early for these pranks. But I always say, paybacks, Troy Clayton, paybacks. this protein cookie. I will put this recipe on my recipe website for you. Look at how massive this is. I saw this on TikTok, wrote it all down and thought I have got to try that. So let's test it out. You can really use any protein powder. There were some other mix-ins like chocolate chips that you could do or pretzels like I did. That is delicious. It gives me complete no-bake cookie vibes and I get the little bit of saltiness from the pretzels. Like I said, you could swap that out for chocolate chips. I mean, you could really mix anything into it. There's a good crunch factor from the pretzels, the rice cakes. Make sure when you're crumbling up your rice cakes that you crumble them up really well, very, very fine. Otherwise, you're gonna have big frozen chunks in here. The Devotion Pro Brownie Batter Protein Powder is really good with this. You could use any protein powder, but I like Devotion for things like this, especially the Brownie Batter, Angel Food Cake. Massive, 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 massive. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen all the information. This is packed with protein, so it's great after a workout, great for breakfast so that you can make it through the day, great for a snack. I mean, you can make a whole bunch of these and have these on hand. You could even half the recipe and make two different protein cookies. This is going to be quite the game changer. I have a coaching call here in about 30 minutes, but I wanted to show you guys my Stanley Cup. So Bill Bar actually sent this to me for Christmas. I think they sent these out to all of their ambassadors. 
Oh my gosh, how much do I love this cup? I never thought that I would love this. I love that it has a handle. I love that it fits in my cup holder. You know I love my Lululemon bottle, but I have to put that in my door because it doesn't fit in my cup holder. I know that there's cup holders you can buy on Amazon that hold those big bottles, but I have been loving this cup. I know that this is all the rage. I think it went viral on TikTok. This is the big honking one. I think it's 30 or 40 ounces. I love the color of it. I love that it has a lid and a straw, the handle. I love this. So I thought I'd share it with you guys because I've really grown attached to this and I'm so thankful that Built Bar sent this to me. So I'm gonna find it online. I'll link it down below for you. I am sipping on my 6 a.m. run, my post-workout. You guys know I alternate between 6 a.m. run and motivate. Today's 6 a.m. run sounded delicious and I'll link that for you too with 20% off. But I had to share this cup. It's amazing. I just finished up my protein coffee for the day and it reminded me about the collagen for her sale that is currently going on. They're doing a huge bundle sale promotion for the new year. So if you're looking for the best collagen supplement, I love collagen for her. I've been using it for well over two years now. I've noticed a big difference in my hair, my skin, my nails. And I always say that I think the reason I don't have more loose skin is because I've been taking a collagen supplement throughout the majority of my weight loss. I love collagen for her. It's a small business, woman owned business, and it's collagen made for her, for women, which I really appreciate. It's affordable and with their bundle sales, you're getting an incredible deal. I pulled the three things that I use most often. First up is the collagen for her beauty collagen. I really like this one. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's really good for skin, fine lines and wrinkles, for hair. I love this. I put this in my coffee three to four days a week along with my regular collagen for her, which actually goes in my coffee every single day. I use one scoop in my coffee and like I said, it dissolves beautifully, you can't taste it, it's not clumpy, and it's made specifically for women. And another thing that I always have on hand are the little to-go packs, because I love taking these when I travel, or if I go buy a coffee elsewhere, I can take this and have them added in to my coffee. I also really like their hair, skin, and nail gummies. I've used those a few times, I've used those as well. They just have some really amazing products. So their New Year's bundles, you actually save up to 30% off. So the first bundle is their unflavored collagen where you get two tubs of my favorite collagen. There's the marine collagen two pack bundle where you're going to get two tubs of the beauty collagen. They have the multi collagen bundle. So you get a little bit of all of the different collagens in a pill form. If you're not interested in using a powder, this is the bundle I think is the best deal where you actually get the tub of collagen and the little to go travel packs of collagen. There's the gummy bundle. And then there's the beauty bundle where you get both of these. These. And I also think that that's a really good bundle to pick up as well, where you're getting the beauty collagen and the regular collagen, and you can't beat the price. And with every order, you're going to get a free bottle of their probiotics as well. An amazing deal. The probiotics will automatically be added to your cart. So you don't have to add those. They'll be added at checkout. This is again, a great time to try collagen for her or to stock up on your favorites. I know that I will be ordering lots of stuff for this bundle sale, because like I said, this is a product I use every single day. So don't miss out on their New Year's bundles. I didn't want to forget to tell you guys about it. I'm going to go have a morning snack, but as I promised in my grocery haul, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on why you're not seeing me bring Coors Light into our house anymore. As you know, I would always buy a case of Coors Light every week for Troy. He loves beer. He's always loved beer. He really liked to have his beers in the evening when he was working, when we lived in Washington. It was just a way for him to relax after a long day at work. Well, he does have to have his blood taken quite frequently. He does take blood thinners and blood pressure medication due to his medical issues. So whenever they test his blood, they test his A1C and he came back as on the verge of being pre-diabetic, not pre-diabetic, but on the verge, a couple of point this or that away from it. And it kind of was an eye opener and a bit of a shocker to him. And he is very much a meat and potato guy. He does not eat a lot of sugar or starchy things in general. I mean, if you offered him a steak and vegetables, he would take that over any type of carb or starch or sugary item. He doesn't really eat sugar at all. So we kind of figured out that the reason that his blood 
that he is on that verge of being pre-diabetic is most likely beer because beer turns to sugar like all alcohol and is pretty high in carbohydrates. So he decided to go ahead and eliminate drinking beer as of the first of the year to see if that would help with that pre-diabetic stage. And he's actually really enjoyed it. To be honest, he said that his vision is much clearer, which is interesting. And also he's lost like 12 pounds in a matter of a week and a half. That's crazy to me. I mean, how long does it take us to lose 12 pounds? And he can do that in about a week and a half. So he wanted to try this out, see if this helped with that pre-diabetic level. And he said that he's beard out, that he's over it and that this has been a really good decision for him. So I'm really proud of him. I'm noticing that he's drinking more water. I've been buying him Gatorade Zero. He still drinks a lot of Diet Coke. We're working on that baby steps, right? He said, don't take away all the joy out of his life, but he's definitely drinking more water, which is helping. I'm assuming with the vision being a little bit more clear, I'm noticing that he's having a little bit more energy and that's been really beneficial as well. So that's why I stopped buying Coors Light so you won't be seeing that in my grocery hauls. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated. I like always on any health issues that arise and how this actually helps with that pre-diabetic stage. I have a feeling with not only losing a little bit of weight and eliminating beer out of his diet, I think that's really, really going to help. Fingers crossed, keep us in your thoughts. And hopefully this really helps take that pre-diabetic stage out for him. I know that that was quite the eye-opener for him as most health-related things are for us. So I'm going to have have a quick morning snack. I've been kind of craving this. I'm going to do one of my Wasa crackers, the crisp bread. I really, really love these. I'm going to spread a laughing cow cheese on it. That's going to give me basically a condiment and a cheese on my cracker. And then I'm going to do two slices, which is a serving of the uncured black forest ham from Sam's Club. And then I actually ordered these in my imperfect foods order. So I'm going to have a few of these. Half of a cup is a serving. There's two servings per container. So I'll have half of these. These are just pickled beets. I love beets. I love pickled beets. I'm actually going to have beets for lunch too. So I'm going to make up this high protein, slow digesting carbohydrate snack. I added a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning on top. It was four big beets for half the container. There was eight total in there and only I think 30 or 40 calories. So I'm really excited for this. I love the crunch of these Wasa crackers. That's really good. The everything but the bagel seasoning definitely makes it delicious. So I'm getting ready to clean house with Troy today. We normally do it on Sundays, but we ended up having to save it up for today. And I wanted to show you this little organizer that I got off of Amazon. I have been looking for something to store like my small eyeshadow palettes. I mean, you could use this for lipsticks, lip liners. You may have a small enough makeup collection that you could probably fit everything in these little drawers. But I really, really love this little organizer. It is so nice, super handy. It comes in multiple colors, like clear, pink, and then this smoky gray color. Here's the size of it. It's a pretty good size, pretty tall. I just have it on top of the bookshelf that holds all of my eyeshadow palettes, but I thought I'd show it to you guys, and I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. I love it. I'm considering buying a second one. It's just a great, aesthetically pleasing way to store makeup, and I thought I'd show it to you before since I'm in my office getting ready to clean and dust my makeup vanity. I also need to clean my makeup brushes today. We just have some cleaning to do. So I wanted to share that makeup organizer with you because I do get asked a lot how I store and organize my makeup. Shooting me with words, but I will let them be. Show it to you Cause it will ricochet I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet It will come back to you Lola is going to get a nail trim So we're gonna go up here to Wigs and Whiskers Which is right by where we live So that she can get her nails trimmed Lola! Are you excited, baby? I don't know how you fall asleep at night. Knowing that your words are hurtful, it's just not right. No, because my eyes are open, your words will. There's 
nobody in line. Huge win. Thank you, Donald Roberts. What can I get for you today? I just have a pickup order for Jen Clayton. Okay, is it just uh, one drink today? Yes, just a drink. All right, we'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I did something a little bit different. This is another Dunkin' concoction that I came up with a little while ago. Different than my sugar-free toasted almond. Hello. Oh, you're quick. Awesome. Thank you. So we've got coffee. So this is a little bit different, like I said, concoction than I normally do. This one is my iced Americano, like I always do, medium with two creams. So all I have to count points for is the cream. And then I do an extra shot of espresso because I love me some coffee. But this time I did two pumps of sugar-free coconut, one pump of sugar-free raspberry. I also like the coconut in the blueberry. So let's try this. I haven't ordered this concoction for a while. All right, I just parked. I'm gonna go grab Lola. She should be done. Let's try it. Ooh, that's good. Last time I did the coconut blueberry, which I also like. Mm. This is really good. I'll put up on the screen exactly what goes into my coffee and I'm gonna go grab Lola. They said you were a perfect angel. Yes, I'm always perfect. Man, if Palmer was as good as her, they're like, she's so good. She just sits there while they cut her nails and they dremel them so they get nice and short because her nails grow like crazy. Are you ready? Lola, we'll go home and get treats. Come on. Yes, I know, it's your favorite word. I am going to make some lunch. I am pretty hungry. I picked up the Mighty Spark chicken burger spinach and feta and I need to cook these up. I'm gonna cook both of them. I'm only gonna have one of them for lunch though. It's 170 calories, but it has 20 grams of protein. I love these, they're so good. Like it doesn't need cheese, it doesn't need sauce, it doesn't need anything. They're so good and so flavorful. And then I actually cut up some zucchini and I made that dip that I really like using sour cream. I use a little bit of non-fat Greek yogurt to add a little bit of protein in and then the green onion dip mix. Let me get it, I have another pack. I showed it in my grocery haul, but let me grab the mix. So this is it. I find it at Walmart. I've also seen it at Kroger stores. It's Laura Scudder's Green Onion Dip Mix. This one is by far my favorite one. So I'm gonna get a couple tablespoons of dip, some zucchini, and then cook up my chicken burger. I also decided to add half of the serving of these garlic, herb, and olive oil almonds. I love these, I kind of forgot that I had these. So I did add half of a serving, which is 12 almonds to my plate as well, just to give me a little bit of healthy fat with my lunch. So here is my lunch. There's my chicken burger, looks amazing, my zucchini, couple tablespoons of dip and my half of a serving of almonds. I'm of course eating it on my Uva home plate. I share these a lot. These are pre-portioned plates, to-go containers, bowls. They have small silverware. I mean, so many great things for a weight loss journey. I love Uva home, love, love, love them. I have several of these plates. I use them all the time. I will link Uva home down below for you guys with a discount code. If you're someone who doesn't like your food to touch, these are absolutely the plates for you, but this is going to be today's lunch. For my afternoon snack, I'm gonna try these. I bought these in my last grocery haul from Sprouts. These are the Snack Mates for kids. These are the pizza flavored meat sticks. You actually get two of them for 50 calories and eight grams of protein. Huge, huge bang for your protein buck. They are a little bit pricey. It was, I wanna say 650 for the five meat sticks, but the ingredients are really, really clean. So let's test these out, see if they're worth it. All righty, taste test. These are actually really, really good. I was gonna say I don't get pizza at all. Not true. It's kind of on the back end. It tastes like pepperoni pizza. Like the sauce, the meat, the cheese. We're really good. And for two of these, for 50 calories and eight grams of protein, 
Yes, please. For dinner tonight, I'm making pepperoni pizza casserole minus the crust. This is going to be a really good way to save calories, points, carbohydrates, and still get all the pizza vibes. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need eggs, your favorite zero point marinara. I count Rayo's to zero points because it has perfectly clean ingredients. You'll need spaghetti squash. You can either cook that yourself from fresh spaghetti squash, but I have these nests from Trader Joe's in my cupboard. These are amazing. They're literally just dried nests of spaghetti squash. So pretty much the same thing. That's the only ingredient in here. Really like these, highly recommend for convenience. You'll need salt, oregano, an onion, minced garlic, turkey pepperoni, 96% extra lean ground beef, and light mozzarella cheese. The first thing I'm going to do is dice my onion, and then we're going to chop our pepperoni into smaller pieces. So to get started, we have some water coming to a boil here for the spaghetti squash nests. If you're using spaghetti squash, you're going to want to cook it and have it ready to go. I'm opening up my pack of ground beef. I'm going to add that here to the skillet. We're also going to add in the diced up onion. And half of our diced up pepperoni. And then we're going to allow that to start browning. And once our water comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and throw our spaghetti squash nests into the boiling water. It's that simple and they come out perfect every single time. While your hamburger is browning, we're going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic, salt, and some oregano. So here's what those spaghetti squash dried look like. They're actually pretty soft, like regular spaghetti squash, and you literally just pop them into some boiling water. It takes about five minutes for them to cook completely through, so super, super simple. Go ahead and grab out a large bowl. We're going to add our meat mixture, our jar of spaghetti sauce, our spaghetti squash. You can see that it looks just like I made it fresh. Two eggs and half of a cup of light mozzarella. Mix that together until fully combined. I do have my oven warming up to 400 degrees. I grabbed out a nine by 13 baking dish, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we'll be ready to get this casserole into the oven. Look how good this looks. It smells literally like pizza. I'm super, super excited. So we're going to add it to our sprayed nine by 13 baking dish. Spread it out nice and even in the bottom. We're going to top it with the rest of our diced up pepperoni. And then just a sprinkle, a couple tablespoons of the mozzarella cheese. It's going into that 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. The pizza casserole's out of the oven. It smells and looks absolutely delicious. This entire recipe makes only six servings. So let me go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points calories and macros. So here is dinner. I sprinkled a little bit of oregano on top. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, it smells just like pizza. So all the information for tonight's dinner is here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm gonna do one of my little dessert hacks that I use a lot when I still need to get in protein. I'm a little shy on my protein today, and I always tell myself, if you don't get your protein in during the day, it better be part of your dessert. So today is one of those days. This is such a simple dessert. It is so easy, and it is packed with protein. So you're going to need some cottage cheese. If you are not a fan of cottage cheese, if it's the texture of it, throw it into a blender, blend it down, make it more so that there isn't curds in it. You guys know I love cottage cheese, not an issue for me. So I'm gonna do, a serving is 110 grams. I usually do about 150 grams, and I get a little bit of extra protein. And then all you're going to do is mix some sugar-free jello of your choice in with it. I usually do about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of the jello just to give it that little bit of sweetness. So this is the lemon jello and I'm gonna mix that in with my cottage cheese and it gives literally the perfect sweetness and it makes it more like a dessert. Another thing you can do is top it with some whipped topping. I really like to do that as well and that even gives it more of a dessert vibe. So this little hack right here is a great way to get in protein and end your day with a healthy sweet treat. Thank you for 
joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today for all of the amazing food, the dinner recipe, 10 out of 10 recommend. It will be on my recipe website. I will put that in the description box along with links for everything I shared with you in today's video. Nutrition coaching and of course my Facebook group. Definitely come out, come join us there. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday friends and I'll see you in the next one.